Hey everybody. Hi y'all. Hello, hello. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts and a big, huge, warm welcome to all you new subbies. So fun. And um, thanks to all the regular subbies that have stuck by me and hung in there and comment and all that kind of stuff. Love you guys. You know who you are. Hey, how's the lighting? Okay, fun fact. Probably if you have one of those ring lights that has like 40 million little turn dials on it, I'll bet you your light is adjustable. I'm just saying. Just figured that out. I mean, I figured it out when I bought it or when I got it in the mail, I guess, but I forgot. So I was just trying, it's on three legs, and I was just trying to move it around my desk, which is really hard to do when your desk is square and you can't, goes all the way to the floor. Okay. Um, if you watch my channel, you know that I started lighting a candle because when Putin's war began, I came in to do a video. It just seemed so trivial to do a crafting video, given what he was doing to people. I, I had a hard time with it. And as a therapist, I know that, you know, you can't stop your life for those kinds of things. It's so important that you continue to have value in your own life every day. So I started lighting a candle just to say, I'm with you. All you mothers and fathers and children and all the people who are alone and all the people who are grieving and scared, I, I'm with you and I still am. That was what, two months ago or something, now we have so many reasons to light a candle and send our love to all those parents who lost their children in the school shooting and uh, all America needs some help. We totally need, we really need to rethink things. Yeah, our value system sometimes needs a little help. But anyway, that's why I light a candle. There's a lot of crafters out there that are lighting candles. Um, and I love it. I love it. It lets me know I have paid attention to this. And I'm also going to have fun with this. Okay, so this is Inspired Art Weekly Challenge. Shannon over at Mixed Media Minnesota started this challenge. I love it, love it, love it. And remind me, oh, I should write it down. There's a challenge I'm going to do. But anyway, she didn't do this particular pinwheel. Tammy at uh, Tammy Burton Van Antwerp's channel, she did this. And she got it from Scribe Vibes. And it's been several weeks ago, and I will post the Lydia, the, the Lydia Van below. <laughs> So they're calling it a pinwheel, rightly so. You can either make it spinnable like this one or not. So easy, y'all. I did this in pinks and florals so that you could see the contrast, but um, I'll probably do it for you. I'll do it in something a little more neutral because I think I'm gonna use it for the shabby journal. So let's look. And I, I did this whole thing was out of two six by, is it six by six? Yeah, six by six papers. Mm, I don't think geometry. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I love that. I kind of like the stripes. Ooh, what about polka dots? Let's do stripes. I mean, it's a math kind of geometry sort of thing. 
Okay, so here's the recipe. You need, okay, so I watched Tammy this morning. Good morning, Tammy. It was before you were retired. <laughs> You're gonna need two three and three quarter squares by three and three quarter. They're three and three quarter by three and three quarter. And then you need eight squares that are one and three quarter by one and three quarter. Okay, that's it. That's all you need. Okay, we're gonna say a little prayer in hopes. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? I want, yeah. In hopes that my um, blade holds out because it keeps catching and I don't know why. Hey, question. Is there an MAM collage with us for June? I haven't been able to find it. I got my book out, was ready to go do it, and I, I searched, couldn't find it. So we're going to do three by three and three quarter. Save those. By three and three quarter. Save that. There you go. I wish there wasn't a little hole right there. That's kind of a bummer. That is not straight. Okay, then let's do three and three quarter. Save that. And three and three quarter. Did I do them even? Let's just see. I did. Whoa, ha, ha. Okay. Now we need eight at one and three quarters. So there's one and three quarter right there. Whoop. Whoop. Three quarter. One and three quarter. And one and three quarter. It is kind of important that they are pretty close to the same. Normally, I would not have taken on a project like this because it's a lot of measuring and they do have to be really closely the same. But Tammy made it look so easy that I thought, well, I'll try it. And it is easy. One, two, three, four. And I... I really liked having four of one and four of the other. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. One and three quarter. And one and three quarter. Maybe I should do two and two and two. No. Yeah, no, yeah, no. That's not straight, Carol. Ooh, hurt your eyes. No, it's not straight. Okay. It's raining. I might want, I think I do. Now let's just see. Okay, so let me see if I can remember this. Okay, so Tammy used her mat to line it up. Brilliant, brilliant. I do like the stripes 
on the back because they're a little much for the eye. So I'm going to line that up like that. And this distance here, shoot for three quarters of an inch, which that is. Now, you know, I could use this glue, however, okay, a couple of different things. A, do I want to distress the edge? I think so, so let's do that. It stands out better on this one. I didn't have the first two squares distressed and it seemed kind of bland and as soon as I gave it an edge it really started to pop so I'm gonna put this in my idea journal I made a, a book last year year before when Martha Manigros and I were doing the um, Journal to Inspire project. I made a uh, idea book. And when I find something that I really like, and I know I'm not gonna keep the book, like it's sold or I've, it's given a, gonna be given away or something, then I make two and put one in my idea book. Okay, so I don't think this glue's gonna stick. I don't think. So, do we want paper tack? Oh, I know. I ordered this quite a while ago. And it came. So, oh, well, there you go. Um, okay. It's going to be glued. Okay, line that up. Hmm. Okay, you can already probably tell the problem with the stripes are if you don't get it lined up, you're really going to notice. Like this seems a little bigger. We'll, we'll just. Love that. Okay. Okay. Now, when you get that down, you start with, I think this is, I think this is right. One. Oh, we're going to, we're going to stress it out a little bit. Today is Sunday. I don't know what it is about Sundays, but I just want to have a comfort food meal for dinner. Maybe something that cooks all day. And... I really didn't want to get dressed, but I have a lunch date. There's a group of us girls that have been friends for about 40 years or better and we're doing lunch we're going to go to this little place it's called College Market because it's down by the university which is just down the hill from me they have a fantastic panini did I count these? I don't think I did I better make sure I've got eight because that'll really foul me up if I have too many and I'm trying to figure out what to do with them because there's just enough room for eight. Thank you to uh, Scribe Vibes for doing this. It is an adorable project. And big thank you to Shannon over at Mixed Media Minnesota for doing the Inspired Art Weekly Challenge. That, it's been so fun. Okay, 
Now these were not going to glue down. To me, that was the tricky part because, you, I mean, you, you glue them to each other, but you don't glue them down to your base if you want it to spin. If you don't want it to spin, you could actually start gluing it now. I mean, if you had a lot of faith that you liked the placement. Ooh, that's busy. And all you do is take a corner and put it in the corner and try to see that it's evenly spaced, which that isn't, but. Can you hear that little bird? They wake me up in the morning. There's nests of babies, and you can hear the babies, and you can tell they're like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, because they're just chirping like crazy. Okay, the last one is what got me last time. Let's see if I can get it in here. I believe that. Now I am going to just glue them to each other. So I've only made one of these and so look how fast it's coming together. So don't be intimidated. It's super easy. I was going to make Salisbury steak for dinner. I had a bunch of hamburger out and I was feeling the urge for some, you know, like old fashioned TV dinner food. <laughs> but I think instead we're going to have um, grilled burgers, I think. I think we're going to grill them. Outside, what did I do here? Hold the phone here, Mabel. Okay, like that. I really like this Tombow glue. Okay. I think what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it as I go because I, I, I do have faith that I kind of know the method now. I've got glue on my hands, and that's why it's making it so hard. I need to wash my hand or something, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to glue this down. So I'm going to put a little dab of glue right there. That's probably too much, actually. And just put it right like so. You really don't need that much glue. And this one. Um, let's see. 
Let's put it in first and then see what we got here. So it needs to be in and under. The last one's the one that got me last time too. It got me all confused. This is outside in the rain. I'm so proud of our, our uh, Doug and I. We decided, well, when COVID broke out, we quit taking the dogs in to get groomed. They're standard schnauzers, so they really need to be groomed on some level. They get pretty uncomfortable. And look at that, isn't that cute? So then, um, I bought a clipper set and one day we decided we, we were just going to give it a whirl and do it and we sucked at it bad and it took all day and we were both exhausted and it was a lot of work and we we're like well, they'll just grow their hair long we'll just bathe them more often that was too much work <laughs> okay so cute so we haven't groomed them since but I decided to go ahead and get it out and um, try our hand at it again. And we did pretty darn good. Now, I'm just using my crocodile. Can you see that? Yeah. And I think instead of guessing where the center is, I'm going to use my already punched hole as a guide. Now, what do we want to use for a center? So if this is going to go in the shabby journal, I was thinking about like a little piece of lace or something, maybe a applique or what do I have here? That's pretty. Hmm. I think that'll work fine. So, what's going on with um, collage with us? Did I miss it? Where's it at? I did search and I can't find it. So, is it coming? I have a whole book to fill up, ladies, so... So in the spirit of pinwheeling, I think I'll just go ahead and punch a hole right in this. Oh, I gotta put a mark on it. I can't, I can't guess, I can't see. Okay. Put the mark crooked, go ahead, then you'll know where not to punch. Did it punch? Yeah, kind of. Tell you what, these um, upholstery samples, once you get the hang of figuring out what you like and, you know, how you like to use them, they're so handy. I don't really care if it's in the center. It doesn't really matter. Oh. It's a good thing because that's not, not even close. Now let's get a brad. And I do believe I have gold. Ooh, I have lavender and silver. And now those aren't gonna go. They're beautiful, but they're not gonna they're not gonna match anything. I think we need gold.
could do that, but it's just, it's too big. Yeah, so we groomed the dogs and saved 200 bucks. There was a tiny bit of bloodshed. I felt pretty bad about it, but Jaja forgave me. See what we got. Oh, oh, I see a place I haven't glued. You could turn these over for journaling space. I just think I'm going to put it, I don't know, put it in the, oh, I made two holes. Darn it. I don't know about, I don't know, that doesn't, there's a brad in it, so it's going to be bumpy, so I don't know how well it would actually be for journaling space. Try it and see, you know, make it and see what you think, but... Now, my idea is to use it as a pocket and then put something inside. Isn't that adorable? Now, you don't have to make it so it spins. You could just make it so that it goes corner, 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 and then glue it down. I just think that is so cute. So fun. Yeah, let's put it in there. Because <laughs> it's not near big enough. I mean, after all, it needs something, you know. <laughs> I think this first, I've got to move the candle. I think this first signature is where we were. Right? Yeah, this back part, I think, of the first signature. So... I really don't have anything shiny in the journal, so it's gonna have to be a special page. Hmm. I don't know if I love it now. Oh, that looks good. Do I want, let's see. So the back goes like so. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on the three sides. And make sure it's got room to spin. It's so fun to make something that's interactive, isn't it? That Tombow glue sticks, you know?
Okay. I'm so in love with this book. It is different than anything I've ever done. There's a little... Um, um, boutique downtown that I found Friday night. There was a uh, art walk in our little town and we went and my husband and I went walking around. Isn't that awesome? If this does not sell between now and the time I reach a thousand subbies, um, it is for sale and if it doesn't sell, I'm going to give it away at my thousand subscriber giveaway, I think if I can part with it by then. Let me show you my idea book. Anyway, there's a, a cool uh, little shop downtown and they totally need some journals down there. It would be right up her alley. So it's just a simple, I think I used a file folder. I can't even remember. Um, I made it for functionality instead of looks. I can't, I, it feels awful hard. This is a bag topper from Septeria 18, and I have used these um, during the Christmas time. They were so fun to make. Let's see, this, oh how cute. So it unties and opens up. This was September 18. It was called a tag pocket. She has some great ideas. This, I don't remember where I got it from. I might have made it up myself. Did I write it down? Hmm. I didn't write it down. Bummer. This is September 18. If you're looking for interactive stuff, she this she's just awesome at it. She just does great. So I just make one and then I write myself notes and so I know all the measurements and everything and then I can make it again. Oh yeah, this was the glassy and paper bag recipe to make one. I think uh, I think Martha and I did that on on the uh, Journal to Inspire project. So this I will put here, and I'll write on it Pinwheel by Scribe Vibe Vibes plural, and you need. To my kingdom for a pen or pencil that actually writes to two at three and three quarter by three and three quarter and eight at one and three quarter by one and three quarter. And I used two six by six sheets. And it's cute, you know, it's, it's cute. And I'm not gonna glue it down um, I'll clip it or something because I want to be able to get it out and look at it and where are you, where are you, where are you? So I, I don't want to I don't want to have it permanently in there. And I'll put the date. 6-1-22 Uh, art inspired art weekly challenge 
Yeah, if you don't have an idea book, I highly recommend it because, and I wish I would use this more often, but I've actually pulled this out and to try to remember how to make those toppers, and I was really glad that I, uh, that I had written things down because I didn't remember who gave me the idea and what the details were and all that jazz. Um, I'm not going to go on. Uh, like I said, I've got a lunch date, so I need to go get ready. I can hear my husband coming in and out, and I think he's ready for his breakfast. So I will go do that since he's not coming to the girls' luncheon. He'll be starving if I don't feed him. He's pretty self-sufficient, but I like to cook for him. And I want to get my burgers ready. They're so much better on the grill if they can sit a little while. With all the seasoning in it. Oh, to save these or not, I don't know. I think I will. So, uh... Somebody let me know. Send put post the link for um, the collage with us if if we're still doing that. I know it's hard to keep up, so you know if you guys are taking a break, just let me know. I just don't want to miss it. I don't know if I want to save these or not, but I know I would use them. I'll save them, whatever. I'll save them. Okay. Let's all take care of each other. Bye.